Is corn a fruit or a vegetable? Corn is very beneficial for our health because it contains rich amount of carbohydrates, vitamin C, proteins and starch. It must be a part of our diet to live a healthy lifestyle. Apart from these health benefits people still inquire about its being a fruit or a vegetable. Here in this article we'll discuss in detail all the interpretations of corn that whether that is corn a fruit or vegetable. So, let's get started. The history of corn tells us that corn was grown for the first time in America. Afterwards it became popular in other parts of the world. It is grown as a major crop in various parts of the world and it is exported to countries where there is no corn found. In some regions is called as maize. Here I would like to tell us the three major types of corn. 1. Sweet corn. 2. Field corn. 3. Indian or Flint corn. The sweet corn is easily available at any grocery store while the field corn is basically used in feeding the cattle and livestock. When we talk about the Indian corn then it is famous because of its fresh colors. This variety of corn finds its place in many items where it is used as decoration. You can also make popcorn from this corn variety. Various interpretations about corn. 1. Some people say that corn is a vegetable and they are right to some extent because vegetable is an edible part of the plant. When we are eating corn on the cob then it means that we are eating a vegetable. It tells us that corn on the cob is simply a vegetable. It is considered as a vegetable then it is harvested and is first ripe. 2. When we talk about the individual kernels of a corn then corn is a whole grain. According to this perspective, the individual kernels of corn are considered as whole grains. Here I would like to clarify the definition of a whole grain which states that a whole grain is a dry seed of a grass plant which is hard and small in size. The internal part of the corn kernel known as the entosperm is used to make corn starch. When you are talking about the corn starch specifically then here you are using kernels of corn as whole grains. 3. Here is another interesting interpretation about corn kernels. When the seeds of the corn kernels are popped into popcorn then it becomes a fruit. To remind you the definition of fruit which states that fruit is that edible part of the plant which contains the seed or matured over of flowers. Those who consider it as a fruit give this explanation that basically corn grows from a plant's reproductive part that is why it is right to call it a fruit. However there are also some people who say that corn is never considered as a fruit. 4. On technical terms, all the grains and cereals are classified as vegetables. Grains have an older history since human beings are habitual of consuming wheat, rice, corn, barley, and oats and other. There is another interesting thought about corn being grains. Some people also say that when after the harvest, if it is dried on its cob then it is a grain. There are some experts who go further in depth to separate the grains and cereals from one another. You can understand from this point that the classification of corn changes the way it is served. From these interpretations we come to know that nobody is wrong is saying that corn can be classified as a vegetable, fruit or grain. You can only tell the exact classification once you know the way in which it is served. The folks have another thought about sweet corn and they say that it is a vegetable and grain at the same time. Another group of people state that corn is harvested as a grain but it consumed as a vegetable. It is seen that children are not interesting in eating corn and that is the case then it means that they are missing out its health benefits. You should serve a small portion of boiled corn along with the baby food to make him a healthy. Once the habit of eating corn is not developed then your child will not eat it when he will get older. Thanks for watching.